Hi guys, how are you today? Welcome back to my channel, Adventures in America. If you are new to my channel, my name is Jocelyn and I'm a dual citizen of the United States and the Philippines. Let's get started. Today we are going to talk about how to become a dual citizen or how to apply for dual citizenship here in the USA. Now, how do we reacquire Philippine citizenship? There is actually a law governing dual citizenship in the Philippines. It's Republic Act number 9225. So those who are natural born citizens of the Philippines, for example, I was born in the Philippines and then I moved to the United States. After meeting the permanent residency requirements here in the US, eventually I became a US citizen. Also, once I became a US citizen, I already lost my Philippine citizenship. However, for example, if I still have a valid Philippine passport, even though I already became a US citizen, would I still be able to use that Philippine passport? The answer is no, because I've already renounced my Philippine citizenship by becoming a US citizen. Now, how do I become a Filipino citizen again? This is where the dual citizenship law comes in. After becoming a US citizen, I have to reacquire Philippine citizenship by applying for dual citizenship. Also, please remember that only natural born Filipino citizens may become a dual citizen. For example, if I have my children here in the USA, they are not natural born Filipino citizen. However, they have derivative Philippine citizenship and they are not qualified for dual citizenship. They don't have to take the oath taking. My children, they don't have to go to the Philippine consulate to do an oath taking for dual citizens. All I have to do is to submit a report of birth to the Philippine consulate covering my residence. So remember, you need to reacquire Philippine citizenship. Some former Filipino citizens or those who have become naturalized in a foreign country, they are claiming that once they become a US citizen, for example, and still possess a valid Philippine passport, they are automatically dual citizens. That is not correct. You need to reacquire Philippine citizenship through dual citizenship application to become a Filipino again. And that's how you become a dual citizen of the United States and the Philippines. Now, where do we apply for dual citizenship here in the United States? The rule is that you only need to apply to the Philippine consulate covering your residence because Philippine consulates abroad have territorial jurisdiction. For example, I live here in Las Vegas, Nevada, and the Philippine consulate covering my residence is the Philippine consulate in Los Angeles, California. I cannot apply to, let's say, Washington DC Philippine Embassy or in San Francisco, California Philippine consulate. I cannot apply to those consulates because they don't cover my residence. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you where to apply for dual citizenship. If you already know this part, then you can skip ahead and move to the next segment. Philippine consulate in San Francisco, California. The states covered are Alaska, Idaho, Oregon, Washington, Northern Nevada, Colorado, Montana, Utah, Wyoming, and Northern California. Philippine Consulate in Los Angeles, California. They cover Southern California, Southern Nevada, and Arizona. Philippine Consulate in Houston, Texas. The states covered are Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, New Mexico, Oklahoma, and Texas. Philippine Embassy in Washington, D.C. The states covered are Alabama, Florida, Georgia, Kentucky, Maryland, North Carolina, South Carolina, Tennessee, Virginia, West Virginia, and District of Columbia, or D.C. Philippine Consulate in Hawaii, State of Hawaii, and American Samoa. Philippine Consulate in Chicago, Illinois. State of Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Kansas, Michigan, Minnesota, Missouri, Nebraska, North Dakota, Ohio, South Dakota, and Wisconsin. Philippine Consulate in New York, Connecticut, Delaware, Maine, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, New York, New Jersey, 
Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, and Vermont. The hardest part in applying for dual citizenship is that it's hard to set up an appointment online because the slots are mostly filled up or it's already taken, the slots are taken, and it's hard to contact the Philippine consulates covering your residence. Let's go over the mechanics for applying for dual citizenship. Please take note that Philippine consulates abroad are different. For example, here in Los Angeles, California, the Philippine consulate requires that Philippine dual citizenship applications are to be made by appointments. That means that you need to schedule an appointment through their calendar online. If there are no slots available, and most of the time the slots are already filled ahead of time, make sure to call the consulate or email and ask them when the slots are going to be open. Once you're able to set up an appointment online, then that's the time to prepare the documents. So let's say, for example, your appointment is on July 1st, 2021 and today is uh, May 12th. Now is the time to prepare for those documents and bring all your documents on the day of your appointment. So they process the documents in the morning and then the oath taking happens in the afternoon. However, it could be different in other Philippine consulates or they require you to take the oath taking on the same day that you bring the documents and also they will mail out the dual citizenship documents eventually. However, at the Los Angeles uh, Philippine Consulate, once you are done with the oath taking, the dual citizenship documents are released on the same day. The cost to be a dual citizen is only $50. So it's actually worth it to apply for dual citizenship because all the rights of being a Filipino citizen will be restored to you. There are actually three important requirements to submit for the dual citizenship application. First, we're gonna go over the documents. Second, the dual citizenship application. And third, the colored photos that you needed to submit. Here's the first requirement. Applicant must personally appear and present the following documents. Number one, original and photocopy of the following documents. Letter A, birth certificate from the National Statistics Office or Philippine Statistics Authority or PSA. And the birth certificate must indicate or show Filipino as your nationality or citizenship. Letter B, for those who elected Philippine citizenship, NSO or PSA birth certificate or certified true copy issued by the local civil registrar in the Philippines that a statement of electing Philippine citizenship and oath of allegiance to the Philippines is registered with their office. And letter C, foreign naturalization certificate. If you're a natural born citizen of the Philippines, all you have to do is submit the original and photocopy of your PSA or NSO birth certificate. If you don't have those original and photocopy of birth certificate, then you have another option. Here are a combination of two documents from the Philippines and one document from the foreign country. Let's say for example, you don't have an original or photocopy of the PSA or NSO birth certificate. You need to present acceptable Philippine documents. The Philippine documents must show the same name, date of birth, and Filipino as your nationality or citizenship, old Philippine passport, or a Philippine birth certificate registered with the local civil registrar of the place of birth, Philippine marriage certificate registered with the local civil registrar of the place of marriage, or an ID issued by a Philippine government agency with your photo, full name, date of birth, and nationality indicated. You can do a combination of at, of at least two of these Philippine documents. And also, in the absence of a foreign naturalization certificate, you need to present one acceptable foreign document, such as a foreign passport with an authorized affidavit of explanation for not submitting naturalization certificate. Let's say, for example, you lost your certificate of naturalization. Number two requirement is the submission of a completed or accomplished dual citizenship application form. There are actually two pages in this form. Let's go over the third requirement. Three two-by-two two colored photo with white background 
taken within the last six months. Please take note that only children below 18 years of age of former natural born Filipinos may qualify for derivative dual citizenship. So a derivative dual citizenship must be distinguished from a dual citizen by birth. A dual citizen by birth is a natural born Filipino born in the U.S. or in the foreign country that allows dual citizenship. Thus, all the parent has to do is to submit a report of birth. Also, the application fee is $50 per applicant. The affidavit of explanation is $25. Also, derivative dual citizenship documents are $25. And if you want to have a certified true copy of the dual citizenship documents, it's also $25 per certificate or certified true copy. Some are lucky that they are able to get their dual citizenship fast. Some take from maybe 6 weeks to 12 weeks. But once all your documents are in place or complete, you can get your documents on the same day of your oath taking. Let's say for example, you wanted to bring your minor children on the day of your oath taking for dual citizenship. Are you required to bring your minor children? The answer is no. The oath taking for the minor children for their derivative dual citizenship is optional because once you've already reported their birth, you can actually apply for the Philippine passport. It also depends on the volume of applications being received by each consulates abroad. Now, what are the rights and privileges of dual citizens? Filipinos who have reacquired their Filipino citizenship under this act or Republic Act number 9225 may once again enjoy full civil and political rights under existing laws of the Philippines. Examples of these rights are the right to vote in Philippine national elections, right to own land and property in the Philippines, and right to engage in business or profession as a Filipino. So if you are already a dual citizen, do you need a Philippine passport to travel to the Philippines? Also, please take note that there was a public advisory issued for dual citizens traveling to the Philippines effective April 21st and I'm going to send that video in my description below. Going back to the question, do I need a Philippine passport to travel to the Philippines? Strictly speaking, no. Just bring your U.S. foreign passport and your dual citizenship documents when you go to the Philippines and you will be allowed to enter and stay like any other Filipino citizen. However, the Bureau of Immigration expects that a dual citizen entering and staying in the Philippines on account of his or her dual citizenship privileges must be in possession of a Philippine passport at least upon exiting the Philippines to avoid Bureau of Immigration penalties. How long can a dual citizen stay in the Philippines? You can stay in the Philippines indefinitely provided that upon your arrival in the Philippines, you present before the Philippine immigration officer your valid U.S. foreign passport and your dual citizenship documents. However, there is an exception. When you travel with your foreign husband or wife or child, you and your foreign husband or wife or child are entitled to a visa-free entry to the Philippines for a period of one year from arrival in the Philippines among other privileges provided you all have round-trip return tickets with the same return flight schedule to the U.S. Prospective applicants for dual citizenship under Republic Act 9225 are advised to visit and read the contents on dual nationality by the U.S. Department of State or to seek legal advice from a U.S. immigration lawyer. There is this issue of taxation for dual citizens. Let's say, for example, I am living here in the U.S. and I also have an income. Do I need to submit an income tax return for the Philippine government or do I need to submit my income tax return to the BIR? If I'm living here in the U.S. and I'm deriving income also from the U.S., then I needed to file a, a federal income tax return based on the U.S. law. However, I am not obligated to file an income tax return in the Philippines because I don't have income in the Philippines. Let's say, for example, that I am a dual citizen and I move to the Philippines 
And when I arrived in the Philippines, I was able to practice my profession and I'm also deriving income. Do I need to file income tax return for the U.S. or for the Philippines? The answer is that you needed to file for two countries, for U.S. and the Philippines, because once you are in the Philippines and you are deriving income in the Philippines, you are legally required to file an income tax return under Philippine law. And also under U.S. law, you are also required to file an income tax return under U.S. law as well. I hope that I was able to cover your questions regarding dual citizenship application and if you have any other questions or comments please post them down below and i will get back to you as soon as i can and also thank you guys for supporting my channel and if you haven't liked this video please give it a big thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and hit that notification bell i always welcome new subscribers Again, thank you guys for watching. I hope everyone is staying safe and have a great day.